These are bog bags. Yes. That's about to sweep the Jersey Shore and take the Jersey Shore by storm. What's going on guys? Welcome to FTV Family Time Vlogs. Today, I'm gonna do a review for bog bags, which I have a feeling these are gonna be all over the Jersey Shore, all over the Florida, all over every coast. There's sand, these will be in it. Let me show you. Today I want to talk about and review bog bags. So we were in the market for a new beach bag. We actually have been in the market for a new beach bag for since last year, but we've just been using old bags. Then we found these bags. They've been around for a little while, but they're just getting very, very popular right now, especially in the Jersey area. I think they're already popular in the Florida area. So basically what these are and how the story goes. So the story goes, she needed a beach bag and her kids were fascinated with Crocs. So she's like, how come they don't make a beach bag like Croc material? which is genius. I actually think she tried to pitch it to Croc, but she did her own thing. Whatever, doesn't matter. So here they are. The Croc inspired beach bag. Now these are awesome. The lady that started bog bags is actually from New Jersey. Basically what you got is a lightweight kind of bag with ridges at the bottom for the sand. They come in an assortment of sizes. So this is actually considered the medium. This is considered the large. The large retails for about $90 and the medium retails for about 70. So inside, you got plenty of room for stuff. This one, you can hold a lot in this bag. You know what we also use these for? Not to get sidetracked, but um, trunk bags. Like when you put your groceries in and whatnot, you just keep it in the trunk, use it as your grocery bag. And then when you get to the beach, you have it. They each come with this kind of baggie. And then there's another little one, gibbet holders. So you put on wherever you want it. Big one comes with a larger bag and a smaller bag. The medium only comes with the smaller bag attachment. Now, there are attachments and accessories that you can add. One is your own bag. So for, this is retails for about $13. You get another large bag and small bag with a pattern on it. And then also for $12, $13, you can get a gibbet. But here's the thing. You could just take any gibbet from your croc, like this one here, and accessorize your bag. You can also put these on the outside. Oops, okay. If you want, like if you just want quick access, don't want to enter your bag, that'd be cool. These are very sturdy, very durable. The handles do go down. So the easiest way to do it is to take your thumbs and there you go. Now it's down, and then if you want to lift it up, you could just come straight up like that, or use your thumbs. There you go. I put a tremendous amount of weight in this, and it holds. Hold on, let me show you. So don't mind the little bit of a mess that we have going on. I just want to show you quickly. This is a 15 pound kettlebell. It's got some weight to it. See how durable it is. Right in here easy very easy these feel solid I'm like trying to break it same it's not going anywhere <laughs> easy look at that I'm like trying to break it now nothing these straps are pretty solid Ooh, getting a workout too these handles feel adorable, so now let's really put them to the test. Here we go. This right here, 45 pounds. I can barely lift it. And this time. <sighs> yeah, these straps are strong. Let me add the 15 pound kettlebell to the 45 pounds, making it a total of 60 pounds. Holy cow. Yeah, you're not putting 60 pounds worth of stuff in these bog bags, but it'll hold. 
Look at that. We got 60 pounds worth of weight in this bog bag right here. We're just gonna like do like a fit test and see how much stuff can actually fit in these bog bags. So I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in it until I can't fit anymore. We'll start with the large one. Your towels, a two liter bottle of soda, protein shakes, that's eight protein shakes, your Crocs, some more Crocs, Starbucks Disney cup, a disinfectant, and we're off to the beach. So that's a good amount of stuff you can fit in there. Let's see what we can fit in the medium. To squeeze them in, it's a snug fit, and you don't have much room left after that. I'm gonna give my final thoughts on these bog bags. Do I love them? They're good. I feel like they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. So the medium one, there's actually a smaller one than this, and it would fit almost like nothing. The medium one is going to cost you $70 and it doesn't fit much. It's more of like a one person kind of beach bag. The large one holds a lot. You can fit a lot in here. But for $90, is it worth it? Beach bags are going up. So, I mean, it's not a terrible price point. It's just a little bit up there. This. I love how durable they are. Like I said, you could use these as grocery trunk bags or whatever until you go to the beach and then just rip them out of your trunk and you're good. Um, I like the material, the texture, of course, they're crocky. You could customize them with your Crocs and they're very durable. The only other thing that I really don't like about them is there's no zip top. I don't like open bags like this as much. I'd rather something that I can close off or zip if I wanted to, um, but that's nitpicking. These bags are good. They seem like they will hold the test of time. I mean, look at Crocs. They don't go bad. You, <laughs> you discolor them. You just throw them in bleach and they get cleaned right back up. I'm sure the same thing applies to these if they get a little dirty and I mean, they'll last you forever. This is that kind of material that'll last forever. Eight. I'll give them a solid eight. They're good. And just for more size comparison, this medium one fits right inside the large one, like with ease. And another size comparison, if you want to do this at home and kind of want to see how much will fit in the bag before you get it, your typical Aldi bag in the bog bag. Whatever you can fit in this Aldi bag, you'll be able to fit in the bog bag. It doesn't go down all the way, but it does line up perfectly with this bag. 